A top of the table finish is at stake here for the Corn Flakers in their final round robin matchup against the Saracens. Should they get the win here today, they will be outright number one side at the end of the round robin, regardless of what happens in the remaining matches. A win is a win, and that's all they need to take out top spot. Hello everyone and welcome along to Cornflake Script, your home of Rugby Challenge and the subscriber series where we are in the final round of matches and we have just two to go before it is the big stage of knockout rugby. The Saracens are at home for this one and their season ultimately ends today at the end of this matchup. They're down in 10th position, just two wins and nine losses so far to their name. The team is a good one, on paper, a very good one, but just has not seen the results go their way for the Saracens. A disappointing year in the inaugural Global Rugby Challenge. Their opponents will be the Corn Flakers and the team that could take out top spot once again, should they get the result here today. A quick look through their lineup. Chris Smith, Sam Halliday, and Michael Revlund once again started on the front row. Ian McDonald will partner Michael Curitan in the second. Joshua Barrett. Elia Malpass returns to the open side. And Tomiko Detrich reunites the back row that has caused havoc. Into the back line, Oli Poulter will get partnered with Douglas Eddington in the number 10 jumper. Tony Cesaro and Ryan Heikinen will be the partners in midfield. Aiden Adelecki Solomon will start on the left wing with Tom Harris out on the right and Sean Aaron at the back starting fullback for this one in the number 15 jumper for the Flakers can this team hold the responsibility and take number one spot we'll find out over the next 18 minutes and it's all at stake here for the Flakers this first ever global rugby challenge season of course, still all the knockout rugby to go. It's a great take here, straight away for the Saracens. Release. Duncan Taylor, straight into the action. Now here's Marco Vunipula slipping a bang nice seat to Hargreaves, who takes it on the 22. Quickly recycled, ball oh, intercepted. McDonald's thrown out the back door. It's advantage for a four pass. The ball is hammered away, but we'll come all the way back for the forward pass that Barrett was the receiver, Bob. Eventually, Crouch. Ian McDonald, the one who Crouch. threw that over his head wildly. Sit. Looking for someone. Oh, but look at this pack of the Fakers. Has just destroyed the Saracens. Quick and easy turnover to Tleach. The way to Eddington. Rear start the number 10. Here's Cesaro. Looks wide. Finds Barrett to Hyken in. Throws out the back door and then that leggy Solomon. Has a foot and touch as he takes that ball. It's a line out to the Saracens, and you see quickly how destructive this Flakers team can be. To the back it goes, and Berger pulls it in. The Saracens look to attack. Keep it tight here with Tol J. Release. On the 10 meter line, still no scorers in this one. We run through the middle, goes Billy Bunny Puller, tries to Release. charge over the top of Ollie Poulter, who pulls him down nicely. Barragher again over the top, nice ball as well. Finds room with Streetle, and Streetle's hammered into touch. A rare piece of attacking play from the Saracens, finds themselves in touch. It'll be a line out for Halliday. He finds McDonald at the front and it's away to Eddington. Cesaro, quick ball to Tweech, pulls it nicely. Here's Heikinen running away, still on his beast there. It's Harris. Harris tries to shimmy in. The loose ball comes out and Farrell gives it away. And the Saracens survive. Yet another devastating attack from the Flakers. Barrett turns it over quickly though and changes directions. Smith away to McDonald. Ankle tapped away from one. Cesaro does the same. Dodgy pass. Solomon picks it up. Throws it to no one. And eventually it's Cruz who pulls it in. Surely a turnover here for the Flakers. No, it won't be. Still here for the red and black of the Saracens. Going backwards, however, into touch. What a dreadful run for Wigglesworth. 
Nowhere to go. Trapped and forced backwards. Eventually had to give it away. And put it in touch. McDonald to Bolter. Malpass is running the first receiver. Heading to quick ball away to Barrett. Cesaro knocks on a golden chance. And it is the Saracens who survive again. Advantage quickly over as they look to swing it. Out to the right hand side and cuts back through Farrell. Release. Setting up again. Inside ball and they kick away. Finding a bag there is Sean Aaron. He's going to run it back, go straight to the chasers. And they put him quickly down. Porter goes back to Eddington. Not very often this Flakers team kicks, but there we go. First one away. At the back is good. There's an advantage. Mistake. Coming in from the Saracens. We'll see it here. Oh, that's a really tough call on George. Touch. The receiver getting pinged for that one. See. It was good at the back. Who threw that wild ball who just didn't find his mark whatsoever. Flakers setting up the scrum now. Porter, he'll go off it himself. A dangerous runner. What an offload! Finds Eddington! Away to Harris! Harris has the wheels! And Tom Harris will go into the corner! First try, Flakers! That's what they can do. Set piece devastation. Tom Harris takes the reward. Back credit this to that man. Ollie Poulter, what a ball. Marginally straight. But then it was Eddington. Away to Harris who finished it off without too much worry. How easily he just gets into that contact area. Drew in three or four defenders. And then you get a wide to Harris. He's a speedster and he knows his way to the whitewash. So here is the man who drew in that last pass. Douglas Eddington. He's on T duties. Half an hour gone. Eddington steps up and slaps it way wide. Dreadful kick from Douglas Eddington. Unsuccessful conversion. And it's 5-0. Flakers over the Saracens. Back to halfway for the Saracens. And it's good. Who will kick off? Haven't seen much of Farrell in this matchup. Barrett to teach away. Cesaro. Now pass. Elliot Mel pass. He's through once more. He is a real danger. Gets it to Heikinen. Heikinen throws it away. And it's Farrell, who we just talked about. Popping it in and out. Eddington. Over his head. Gives it away again. This time it's pulled down from Funny Porter. Nice. Still there though for the Saracens. Good ball from Wigglesworth. Keeping it alive. And told you he goes nicely to the left. Release. Pull to pulls him down. Burger. Oh man, an all tackle there. Absolutely smashed. Penalty with a minute and a half to go here for the Saracens. And they're going to opt for touch. Now we're going to restart here with still a minute to go. They need to score from this here. They can get something out of this half. There goes half time as well. So this will be the last play of the match. It goes to the back. A stolen ball. And Eddington has a refresh receiver. Why they look through Solomon? Solomon has numbers out wide. It's Cesaro. He's away in open space. Still has Heikinen. Numbers though on defense. Pull him down. Chris Smith right there. He's at the base of the ruck now. He'll open it up. Big ball to Eddington. Eddington floats it to no one. Oh! And a massive hit there on Wiles. Kiritan out the back of the hand, Cesaro. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. Cesaro, real chance now. Oh, great tackle, good at the back. Poulter's there, quickly recycled. Rivlard, big pass to no one in particular. Same done there, Malpass can't get it. And it's ball back to the Saracens. It's going every which way, except for to hand. Release. 
Finally it's packed down though and the Saracens have the ball. Surely they'd love to kick this out. The defence will be quickly up. It goes back to Farrell. He's lost it. The teach pulls it in. Now it's another chance. Can they find the white wash again? It's hiking in. Through the middle he goes. Harris still got men with him. Can't find them on his outside. Porter. Eddington. Quick hands. Revlard. Cesaro. They go through them all. Hiking in again. And an unlucky Solomon. Can he finish? He goes. He trips. He's up. He's over. What a play for Maiden Adelaide Solomon that makes his first half a very good one for the Flakers. He had a lot of work to do. Look at the shifting of hands through here from the Flakers. Finally got to the winger. Two men on him. Steps inside Berger. Ankle tap from good. But got the work done sensationally on the left side. He is an exquisite finisher, this man. So many talented wingers in these three squads. They have dominated tries throughout. That makes the score 10-0. And the Flakers, well in control of this one now. 15 minutes extra in this half so far. Here is Douglas Eddington. Slaps this one a bit straighter. Hits it very nicely indeed. Takes the extra two. It's 12 nil. The Flakers doing it quite nicely over the Saracens after 40 minutes. So a surprisingly close first half between these two sides. See the Flakers up by a very late try in the first half. Concluding the 40 minutes, getting them up 12 nil over the Saracens. So, they had too many chances to score, but defensively, they have been very, very tight. You can see possession fairly close 56 44, but it is territory that the Flakers have dominated 73 27. The line breaks as well, a big part of their game 8 to 2. It is one way traffic for the Flakers at the moment who are getting the job done. Back to the action we come. Douglas heading to the man who now the half ending kick. 55 plus minutes gone as well in that first half. And he'll be the one to get the game back underway. Ref blows ready. We are good to go. Eddington kicks us off way to the right hand side. Beautifully taken. What a taken there from the Saracens Super C. Wide looking for Ruin Berger. Instantly whipped on the ball from the Saracens. And it is. Barrett who kicks it away. Erin. Oh, that's a beautiful run. Sean Erin. He's got numbers overlapping. And Saint and then Lincoln Solomon. What a play. What a counter attack. The Flakers are alive and well. And this competition is theirs to take. What a counter attack from Sean Erin and Aiden and Lincoln Solomon. Absolute blistering play. We didn't see the real cut and half defense run from here and that put away Solomon. But this is something special from the Flakers. And you can call their minor premiership takers already. Because they don't look like they're going to lose this one at all. Great play from Solomon. The support was beautiful. Not often that the fullback gets the support especially running the ball that he really needs but that one was something out of the top shelf from the flakers absolute talent throughout this whole team and we see it on display there once again successful conversion from eddington he grabs himself another couple of points he goes to four for the match and the scoreline up to 19-0, six minutes into the second half. Back to good, and good goes chipping it straight down the center of the park. Halliday fires a massive ball to Michael Revlard. What a swat away. Has another go. Oh my goodness, this is an absolute demolition. Douglas Eddington will swoop around and score another try for the Flakers. That was an absolute classy play from Michael Revlard. 
Look at that fan. Get out of here, he says to Wales. Takes on fullback good. Hands the support from his fly half right on his shoulder. Who swoops in again under the sticks. This is magical stuff. Oh, you got to love the play from Revlard. We've seen some fantastic movements from props this season. But that one is right up there with the best of them. And like we spoke of earlier, Eddington's tally goes from four to nine and a chance to make it 11. Right in front. Should make no mistake, we are just 10 minutes into the second half and we've seen an equal, even more now, scoring than we've seen in the first 40. This is an absolute... Wow, what do you call it? A lesson for the Saracens at the moment. They showed up in the first 40, they defended well, they showed glimpses of what they could do. But now in the second half, they have been just destroyed. Tassaro, Porter, McDonald this time. He'll have a go with Solomon on his shoulder and a good tackle. Very good tackle. Duplessy takes him over the touchline. Well, do not discount what the Saracens have in the bank just yet. Full Superman lineouts. And we go to the front for the Saracens and pull down from Cruz. Now they get out the barrel. Cuts it back inside. Nice run. Beautiful run, Streetle. Slips it in field. Natalji puts it to ground. Inside the 22 of the Flakers. Footy puller. He has a bit of a dabble himself. Release. He might lose this ball here. It's all flakers, but no. Somehow it comes back to the red and blacks. Oh, big hit there on Hargreaves. Release. Now it's coming back to the blue. And the flakers, well, they steal this back. And McDonald well, he gives that one a pinch of salt and hits it straight down the center of the park. Good will return. Oh, look at the tackle. That's Sam McDonald. He says, how are you going? Smashes him. God's going backwards. Morant, Alana Harris. Oh, this is sensational. I've seen no better full team play than that from the Flakers. What a passage of play from the Corn Flakers. Just watch this in awe. We won't even see the absolute magical play from Ian McDonald. Finds himself at scrum half. His team in trouble defensively in the 22. What does he do, the big second rower? He just gives it a bit of the big old boot. Chases his hard. Makes the tackle on the fullback good. Who was trying to be elusive. He was almost away. He got around the first wave. But McDonald picked him up and put him down. Big support. Big turnover. No fullback. Try time flankers. That is one of the highlights of the season. No doubt about it. Deserves a conversion. And Eddington gleefully gives it one. He's having a decent day as well. 13 point haul for the fly half. Back to halfway for the Saracens. And I'll kick the second half, another Come portion on. of it, into action. Knock on, though, the Brandy back over. there. Mistake from Cesaro. Advantage is over as Berger. Looks to slide down the left-hand touchline. Now they look for width. Oh, you saw that coming a mile away as well. Cesaro knocks the ball on. A bit agitated by the mistake. He's gone out to midfield and he's put in a thumper on the high ball. As it come down, he decked his opposite number. Kick for touch from the Saracens and they find it nicely as well. Work to good in the corner. Maybe that's why the Saracens aren't going too well. What is Farrell doing in this team? I have no idea. It'll be George to throw in. Goes to Hargreaves. Short ball, brilliant work, Berger. Release. Almost sneaking around the back of the ruck. Now it's a real chance, Cruz is over. It was the deep running from Cruz that did it. The opportunity on the back pass. Watch this, it's a very well worked try. 
Here's the first one from Bergamo in McDonald saves the day. Then this ball here, you see Marco Vinny Pulley goes back, cuts in, and then behind the line. And once they get to that point, very hard to stop. Kiriton did a good effort. Wow, well, this is a good comeback here from the Saracens. But watch this, hits at a speed, bang! And his momentum carries him over. First try for the Saracens in the match. And now we see some of Owen Farrell. Well, it's been a match of disappointments for the Saracens. Blown off the park early in the second half. They could have come back, but they just had no answer to that flurry of tries from the Flakers. The scoreline now 33-7. to They've got themselves some points, but... There's only one team top of the table, and that will be the Flakers. They will overpass the Guardians of the Crib and take the number one spot with still matches to go. Well taken, and away they go! And Streetle finding room, shows the dummy. Oh, good work! Exceptional work from Tony Cesaro. He's had an average second half, an average match by his standards, but that there was a masterclass of defense again. Waited, took his time, chose the opportune moment to defend as well. Now they're on attack, here's Cesaro. Away to Heikinen, Heikinen looks for Harris. Harris gets a fend on, away from one, but pulled down, cover defense does well. Flakers fighting hard for this ball, now they do finally get it. McDonald, massive pass, away to Heikinen, pulls it in, Curitan. Here's Solomon right on the touchline. Is he going to know? He's going to chip. Thought he might go for the step. Pulls it in beautifully as well. He's having a storm. And there goes full time. Chance for one more maybe for the Flakers. Floats it out. No one really wanted it. Barrett has to clean up the messy biscuits. Changing the mind. Curitan. Out the back door. Hiking and picks it up. Far left side of touch. They'll have to try something else. Curitan! Oh! Curitan's clotheslined! Dreadful tackle. I think it's Wilds that could be seeing time on the sideline. He is. Yellow card. Rest of the match is off for him. Eddington. Whoever comes south. Takes on the first line. Gets to Cesaro! Who bulldozes all through one! He's away, he's up again, look out, he's up! He's in! That's a try! Well, sleepy defence from the Saracens. Their head is already in the changing room. Their season already over. Well, we don't see the amazing run that Cesaro pulled in just before that. He held the ball two hands and he went bulldozing into the defender. Just smashed his way through. Then took a shoulder tackle, no arms at all, and the penalty, the ensuing penalty, quick thinking, gets him on the scoreboard, a very good last passage from Tony Cesaro, seeing confidence is all he needed, and that piece of defence where he saved the try, really did put him right up on cloud nine. There is the final whistle, however, the Flakers... No mistake about this whatsoever. They have demolished the Saracens. Convincing, as you like. There is Cesaro. Cheeky smile on his face after that brilliant finishing display. The Saracens, where our season comes to a close, that has been nothing short of disappointing, one could only say. The Saracens, however, they did get a try. Cruz, the try scorer, the big second rower, converted by Farrell as well. That was all they managed. Just seven points. As for their opponents, the Corn Flakers, six tries for them. Eddington and Cesaro with one each. Aiden Eleki Solomon and Tom Harris picking up a pair to give them their six tries. Eddington capped off a very impressive night. 15 points for him, getting five out of six conversions as well. The stats at full time, well, it did turn into a bit more of a one sided affair of the Flakers picking up possession and territory both 62 to 38 percent the line breaks look at that absolute cleaning up from the flakers 13 to 3 that is 13 line breaks to just three
They picked up six tries. It's a near enough to 50% conversion rate on the line breaks as well for the Flakers. Tackle count dead even as well. Very interesting stat from these two sides. But a big win for the Flakers who can now celebrate being the number one team from the round robin and minor premieres of the Global Rugby Challenge. Just one match of the round robin remains. Just one match of round 13 as well. And that is Toulon hosting the All Flakes. That is it. Then it is quarterfinals. I don't even know if we'll see any sides in quarterfinals. I'm sure we will see one match out of the quarterfinal action. Then it is semi-final time. That is when the real action starts. Now, what's really interesting about this final matchup here between the All Flakes and Toulon is that a number of things could happen. We can see all teams have played 12 matches. Their seasons are done. So the top six ultimately has been decided. But keep this in mind. The All Flakes, 46 points. But a very good points differential of plus 247. A five point win. That means the bonus point over Toulon could see them into second that is massive that is a real possibility as well for the all flakes on the other side of the equation all very unlikely however if Toulon can pick up about a 40 point win over the all flakes with a bonus point obviously that could see them go into third position as well so even at this late stage of the competition still very much a lot of movement is possible. Waratahs Highlanders look set for 5th and 6th. No possible change whatsoever unless Toulon gets smashed by what would that be? Uh, 90 points. There's a chance that War the Waratahs could pass Toulon. Uh, Clermont will stand in 7th. Ospreys in 8th uh, position. 26 points. Munster down there in 9th. Saracens 10. Stormers 11. Bath 12, Glasgow rock bottom. Just one win for them and Bath with just five and six points. Disappointing seasons for those two. So one match to go. It is the All Flakes versus Toulon. That is a home match for the French club. Could decide a lot. We could stay exactly how we are right now. There's only one way to find out and that's to tune in next time to see the big match between the All Flakes and Toulon. I hope to see you all there. For that one, we're getting really close to the end of this series and very close to a champion in the Global Rugby Challenge. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Let me know who you thought was your standout performer in today's matchup for the Flakers. And I'll see you very soon for the final round-robin matchup of round 13 as well. Until then, thanks for watching and take care.